Hello, in this tutorial on GTK I want to show you the adjustment widget which actually not a widget there is a widget which related on adjustment but adjustment itself not a widget so it's a, it's very uh, spatial okay usually you just declare adjustment in GTK or something but for now you have to create something called uh, a GTK object uh, pointer so GTK object and adjustment okay uh, so this is a GTK object not a GTK widget as almost everything okay to create a new you use the normal formula formula so GTK adjustment new and it require six parameter the first one is the default uh, value by the way first of all I want to show you what what is it so uh, so it is Im easier to imagine uh, I hope that we will find uh, some okay not uh, so I just open up GIMP uh, and here it is here what is used an adjustment uh, uh, GTK object so an adjustment. As you can see, I can move this uh, uh, range of uh, range uh, widget. So I can move it, and the value is changing. So yep, that. Uh, so I can use my arrows and the page down key. Uh, okay. So the default value, for example, for this uh, uh, opacity is uh, a hundred okay for now we use zero all right the next is the m minimum value of of this so in this case this is zero and we use zero as well so zero and then the maximum value this will be 10 all right and uh, now whenever i click the arrows how many change does it uh, make I think one is enough and the next one is if I press the page up and the page down how many change uh, does it make so for example if I use the arrow it makes one uh, change but in case of page up and page down it makes 10 okay for now I just make uh, uh, both of them the same and the next value is the width of the window this is really not matter for uh, this widget this is matter for widgets like this uh, scroll bar uh, although we don't make scroll bars for that for make a scroll bar window we will use the uh, scroll window instead okay uh, so uh, you can just press it null indicate that uh, that there is no need for that okay for that you just created the adjustment adjustment can be used a lot of place as i said it can be used in case of range widget it can be used on spin buttons i don't see uh, any for now but uh, yep uh, spin buttons uh, and you can use it as i said scroll bar so horizontal and vertical scroll bar okay so create a new widget uh, call it uh, uh, range uh, actually not call it range call it scale okay this is a scale widget so make scale equal to GTK and now I think there is something different between the GTK 2 and the GTK 3 according to the GTK 3 API documentation I find that the way to create it is GTK scale new which requires two parameter one is the orientation so gtk orientation horizontal or gtk orientation vertical and the other is the adjustment or uh, in case of gtk2 documentation which i use and how i learned the gtk h scale new or v scale new so vertical or horizontal scale i use the horizontal scale because i think that looks much cooler okay and it's weighs just one parameter and adjustment okay uh, actually 
uh, it's not with a GTK object, it's with a GTK adjustment, so we have to cast it. So GTK uh, adjustment and just cast this adjustment to the correct type. Alright, that's it. And now our scale widget is ready, so we just add to the container and it's ready for use. So, uh, gtk container add. Our container is the window. And uh, add this uh, scale widget. Okay, if I doesn't mistype anything, this should run. Now I just have to open the terminal because I did not I didn't. Okay, and uh, use the other code because it's a lot of type. All right. Uh, oh, I know what the problem is. I forget to put a star, so it's not a pointer, and that's why it uh, complains about there is no such operator. Okay. Oh. Uh, Alright, it is so small again. Okay, here it is. As you can see, we can change it uh, from 0 through 10. If I press the arrows, it change 1 every time I press, or if I hold down, it's change. Okay, similar to page up and page down. Okay, as you may remember, we give the same value to that. Okay, that's it. Although it would be a good idea to read whatever value is in here, and now we can we will do that. Okay, uh, GTK scale actually a GTK range because the GTK scale gets from GTK range is uh, uh, emit a value changed a signal whenever the value is changed. So to uh, grab that signal you use the gtk uh, g signal connect you remember and the first is scale because we want to uh, examine the scale the second is value changed and the third is the callback function we will uh, write it in a moment so value changed okay and the last is what do we want to pass I think there is no need to pass anything at the moment. Okay, just write this function quickly. So static void value changed. Okay, gtk. Oh, I again left out the pointer. Okay, and g pointer uh, data. Okay, which is uh, null at the moment. Uh, yep. Okay, just a simple write out what the value is. So, gprint, as you may remember, we use gprint to write out the terminal. And percent uh, s, which is mean, uh, actually, why would we want to write out a string? We want to write out a float and backslash n because we want a new line after it. And we use a function for get the a value from that scale. By the way, if you look, look at the API documentation, you may expect a function like gtk scale get value, and uh, there is no such function. The gtk scale has no function to get the value, uh, but the gtk range has. Okay, uh, it is inherited from the gtk range, so we can cast it. Okay, uh, first of all. Uh, we use uh, gtk uh, range so range get value okay and we have to cast to gtk range this uh, scale all right that's it uh, try to compile and run it okay no error great Okay, here it is. Uh, oh, we need a terminal so we can see the change. Alright, uh, here is the terminal and whenever I change this, as you can see, it's changing in the terminal. Okay, if I use the arrows, it changed just once. Okay, I just want to show you that. 
OK. Uh, you can set where uh, the GTK draw this value. Uh, the default is bo uh, top, as you may see. OK. Uh, try to make it to the bottom. So, uh, GTK uh, scale uh, scale uh, set value pause. OK. And uh, <coughs> the first parameter is obviously the scale, so GTK scale scale. And the second parameter is uh, uh, where should it uh, put it? So GTK uh, post button. This should be familiar to you from one of the earlier tutorial. I think that was the notebook where we use this posh uh, position positioning. Okay. Now if I compile it and run it and make it a little bigger. Okay. As you can see, it is now draw it to the bottom. If it is in the top or the bottom, it will follow the slider, or I don't know what is it called. Okay, uh, if I put it to the right, for example, then it will not uh, follow it. So as you can see, it is in the right and not following, similar to the left. Uh, obviously, th if you do a vertical slider, it will follow it. All right, then mm, let me think. There are a function called set digit. So GTK scale set digit. Scale set digit. This will set the digits. How many digits? So yeah. Uh, for example, make it free. The maximum is 13, I think. Digits. Uh, okay, I think that's what it's called. Now we can compile and run it. And as you can see, we have three digits right here. And we can make it very precise. Okay, uh, a maximum, I think, the 30. So that's uh, pretty. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, okay, and one more important function I want to tell is the GTK scale set draw uh, value. Okay, uh, this uh, will you can turn it off the v uh, draw. So false. Uh, you may think about it, why does it good to turn it off? So, as you can see, uh, there is no value. As is. So, uh, so you, you might think, why is it good? Uh, you, may, you can do another widget, for example, an entry, which you set the text to that. For example, in this case, as you can see, a simple entry is put in here and somebody could write the, the value and whenever the, the change the value you set the slider to that and whenever you change this uh, you set the entry to that so yep this could be useful in some situation okay i think that i run out the time so thank you for watching and have a great day